Hi guys, it's Lisa Murphy and I'm back out on the porch on this Sunday afternoon and I have this book for you today. It is called The Dead Bird by Margaret Wise Brown. She wrote the book Good Night Moon. Probably a lot of you know that book too. Pictures are by Christian Robinson. The bird was dead when the children found it. But it had not been dead for a long time. It was still warm and its eyes were closed. The children felt with their fingers for the quick beat of the bird's heart in its breast. But there was no heart beating. That was how they knew it was dead. And even as they held it, it began to get cold and the limp bird body grew stiff so they couldn't bend its legs and the head didn't flop when they moved it. That was the way animals got when they had been dead for some time. Cold, dead, and stone still with no heart beating. The children were very sorry that the bird was dead and could never fly again, but they were glad that they had found it because now they could dig a grave in the woods and bury it and they could have a funeral and sing to it the way grown-up people did when somebody died. So they took it back out into the woods, and they dug a hole in the ground, and they put warm, sweet ferns in the bottom of the grave, and they wrapped the bird up in grapevine leaves, and then they put it in the ground. Then they put more ferns on top of it, and little white violets, and yellow star flowers. And then they sang a song to it. Oh, bird, you're dead, you'll never fly again, way up high with the other birds in the sky. We sing to you because you're dead, feather bird, we buried you in the ground with ferns and flowers because you'll never fly again in the sky, way up high, little dead bird. And then they cried because their singing was so beautiful and the ferns smelled so sweetly and because the bird was dead. They put dirt over the bird as they sang, and then they put more ferns and flowers and a gray stone on top of the dirt. And on the stone they wrote, Here lies a bird that is dead. Around the stone they planted white violet plants and wild geraniums, only the geraniums faded. And every day until they forgot, they went and sang a song to their little dead bird and put fresh flowers on their grave. The end. And that book is called The Dead Bird. I will be back in a little bit. I think I'm going to read a couple more for you because it's Sunday afternoon. And I think that might be a fun way to, hmm, I don't know, just sit outside, get some sun, get some fresh air. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm Lisa Murphy. Bye-bye.